now would you look at that would you look at that we are seeing very clear that the playstation community continue to expose themselves who would have thought that a og in the gaming industry hip-hop gamer predictions would have been wrong i mean there are sony fans right now who is using hip-hop gamer as an authority of predicting what is about to happen but it's obvious that these guys have been wrong in the past and they would also be wrong in the future i'm not saying they can't get anything right but it's very clear that most of their predictions has been or uh, has proven to be wrong for example exhibit a the title of this is playstation 5 will introduce a remastering engine right so here's what i want to let like let y'all in on if you ever played emulators on pc let's take pcsx for instance when you use the pcsx on um your pc internally you can change the resolutions the anti-aliasing you can make old games look new like it's like a remaster it looks groundbreaking crazy all right so this is what's going to take place with the playstation 5. Uh, isn't that cute but it's wrong but also the disc like you it'll be able to read the old disc as well because this will be three uh different gpu settings uh built within this built within the system so it recognizes what generation is being played even from a disc you sure about that you sure about that so i just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about backwards compatibility i'm here to confirm to y'all that playstation 1 2 3 and 4 will all be play playable on playstation 5. you're a victim oh, mm. here we go csi you will see backwards compatibility become forward compatibility in terms of um, the games looking better, running better, and feeling like a brand new experience so that nostalgia can be up to date because this is a big part of what the next generation is gonna be. Like backwards compatibility is gonna play a major role actually. This is something that they invested a lot of money in ever since 2012. And if you go back and look at the PlayStation 4 reveal video, uh, David Perry talked a lot about how Sony collectively as a company is investing in their term called EE. What? Which is everything everywhere. That's what they want for the PlayStation brand, the family. They want everything PlayStation to be everywhere on the PlayStation 5 and beyond. Darren, what's going on? You said, did Sony announce all of this shit? No, I'm the one breaking this story right now. So Sony didn't announce this shit. You can take it with a grain of salt if you want, but if you check my track record, you'll see, Google me, you'll see how I get down. You, you know what I'm saying, if you, don't, if you don't know. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? I mean, how embarrassing this is to predict that, um, you know, all the previous PlayStation platforms would have been playable day one on PlayStation natively. And four years after, we are seeing that PlayStation is now working on the PlayStation 3 to be backwards compatible with the PlayStation 5. Now, this is a very embarrassing. I mean, this really exposes all these guys sources bosses and horses that all of them is fake and none of them knows what they are talking about but today we are going to see how the sony community how the pony community has exposed themselves yet again <laughs> they say they buy games well let's see what the numbers say <laughs> let's get it this is a sickness let's get it so guys before we start the video don't forget to like share and subscribe the goal for the channel is to get to 3,000 subscribers so if this type of content interests you we're talking about sony pony salt also xbox news and a little bit on nintendo news and gaming news in general uh you know hit that subscribe button for more now let's get back to the video if you ask any Sony guy what separates them from being an Xbox gamer, they most likely would have said that, uh, you know, we buy games. We buy games here over on PlayStation side. 
This is where y'all live. This is where y'all stay. Cat world, that's where you live. That's where your house is. Cat world. That's where you go. Cap world, because you're full of it. You're full of cap. Well, we are seeing that this year they might be exposing themselves, yes? Because the data is pointing to these Sony fans, these ponies, do not buy their games. For example, who could remember Returnal? Returnal was a PlayStation exclusive. But guess what? Since that game release, it's being reported that that game only sold 1 million copies. Wow! And the install base is 70 million on the PlayStation 5. Who could remember a little game we like to call Forspoken? Yes, I recall when the PlayStation community was hyping this game up. All of them were saying Forspoken would be game of the year. And guess what? When that game sold out, it sold so badly uh, that the studio had to close down. <laughs> Who could remember Final Fantasy Reboot? I mean, the hype for that game on the PlayStation community was astronomical. All of them were saying, wow, Final Fantasy VII Reboot is the best game. This game is no doubt game of the year. And guess what? Um, according to Square Enix, the sales for Final Fantasy VII Reboot was lackluster. So don't matter what these guys are saying, when we look at the evidence, when we look at the proof, we are seeing that, that not only they are capping for buying these games, they are not buying these games. They, on the other hand, for years, they would have, um, you know, said negative things about Xbox games, one of them being Sea of Thieves. And guess what? When that game came to the PlayStation, guess what that game did? Consistently ranked in the top 5 best-selling games on the PlayStation 5. What are we doing? What are these PlayStation fans really doing? They are not being truthful about anything they see. Well, we are seeing that this year again, one of the exclusives, Stellar Blade, is not doing too well. And you know, I have to admit that I was wrong. I thought that this game would have sold the gangbusters on the PlayStation 5 because of the PlayStation community. I know the type of community is the PlayStation. There are some sick, sick guys. But the evidence are showing that this game didn't do too well. Um, in addition to that, we also know that Stellar Blade had a movement. The name of that movement was Free Stellar Blade. And this was run by the up and coming pony, which is Grums. So we know that that uh, particular movement gained a lot of traction in the community, uh, so much so that it had a, a petition. And that petition really brought out some of the ponies. Yes, these ponies came out from their dark rooms uh, to really support Grum's petition. Yes, they really did have something to say about freeing Stellar Blade. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jeremy. And I am signing the Stellar Blade petition because I too am tired of how Sony is constantly censoring games left and right, back and forth, for absolutely no reason whatsoever to fit some stupid, worthless, pointless agenda. Stellar Blade is definitely a, a breath of fresh air, and it needs to stay that way. Thank you. Japan is a bastion of sexual freedom. and the What do you mean by that? Puritanical West are trying their hardest to bring us back to sexual repression. I support this petition because I've had enough of the West constantly shoving its woke SJW feminist agenda down our throats. We're like the civil rights movement, but for video games. We can't give up and we must keep fighting. We can win this war and Grums will lead us into glorious victory. You can be sure of it. Hey, my name is Elliot Gomez, and I'm and I'm here recording this video, letting you know to free Stellar Blade from censorship. This has gone too far, Sony. Why would you do this? You're hip good for doing this. Please free Stellar Blade from censorship, so we can get the original version I was intended to be. Thank you. So let's face it, Stellar Blade had a lot of how to say hype around it. We had. Uh, you know sony fanboys gushing over it we also had this petition so one would reason with all of these things surrounding stellar blade no doubt this would sell at least uh three million 
I mean, it, it should sell about 5 million because we know that the PlayStation um, install base is 59 million, somewhere there, 60 million, what have you. So what, how much did this game sell? Look at here. This game sold a measly, uh, abysmal, one million units this is this is a sickness after all of that that's all it sold one million units and although there are some uh websites like ign who is saying wow this is a big deal this game sold one million units there are some fans calling out sony calling out the sony fanboys for hyping up this game and not going and buy it listen mm -mm. if i was an investor if I was a shareholder, that's not what I want to see. A million copies, that's it? Nah, that is low. That is low. Wow, very sad indeed. Can't believe this bull crap. <laughs> see that on screen? Look on screen right now. Stellar Blade Dev estimates the game has sold over 1 million copies PC version still under consideration. Ay, 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 ay. Since its launch, it has ranked first in sales in major console markets such as US, UK, okay, <laughs> and commute. <laughs> and commute. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. The, the, just reading this major console markets us and uk and only one million only one million oh my god wow man this is i can't i did it's just Yes, Marlon, I could imagine the feeling knowing that all these Sony fans, knowing that the Sony community was behind this game. They said they were very hyped for it. They said they were going to buy it. And guess what? All of a sudden, when the sales come out, you're seeing none of them supported it well. This game only sold one million copies. What a shame. What a disgrace. <laughs> May, did y'all did y'all see this right here, bro? From the CFO. Do y'all see this right here? Since its launch, it has ranked first in sales in major console markets such as the UK and the US. One million, that's it? Wow, man. Wow, wow, wow. We're considering a PC version of Stellar Blade, but we cannot co comment on the exact timing. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Are y'all seeing this? We are considering a PC version of Stellar Blade, but we cannot comment on the exact timing. Oh, Lord. A million copies, bro. A million. Or whether or not it, or whether or not it will be released due to contractual relationship. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I can't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God oh lord so pc version is up in the air they don't even know they don't even know <sighs> that is crazy bro if y'all not if y'all if you didn't get nothing out of this stream today all i'm gonna tell you is don't be surprised sony makes the move that they make putting their games on other platforms because put just just making these new ips or second party ips exclusive to ps5 it just ain't cutting it it's not working it's not all this marketing and hype it's all lies it's literally all lies and fabrication because people are just not buying the games people just not buying the games marlon they're not buying the games bro all this hype fake hype <laughs> all this hype does not equates does not freaking equate to sales all this fake hype oh stellar oh stellar got the yams oh i'm gonna buy stellar where are those people now <laughs> stellar got yams but you ain't buying the freaking game
<laughs> no amount of yams, no amount of colored greens, no amount of buns could have saved this game, yes? So let me hear what you thought about everything that was said. Are you surprised that the Sony community did not buy this game? Or did you already predicted that this game would have never did well? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget guys to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.